Hi, I'm the cat in the wig. My name is Kat, and I've been hearing that a lot of you are interested in learning about monster ownership. I understand that you think um, it's all glitz and glamour, but the truth of the matter is that it's a lot of hard work to own a monster, and it can actually be downright disgusting at times. So I've uh, written a little story about what it's actually like to own a monster. I hope you enjoy it. It's called My Monster. I found a monster in the shed, and now I keep him neath my bed. It's truly been a brutal job caring for a monstrous slob. For breakfast, he likes toast and eggs, turtle guts and froggy legs, tiger toenails torn in two, camel hair and monkey goo, orange juice made with a twist of liquid from a warthog cyst. When he's done, he licks his plate. Then comes the part I really hate. A monster's teeth need special care, so I must brush them when I dare. He doesn't like it, not one bit. He throws a monster hissy fit. And then I have to race and rush, so my right hand starts to brush, while my left hand holds my nose, because the stench could curl my toes. When at last his teeth are done, then it's time to get some sun. I put my monster on a chain, and we go walking down the lane. As we walk, the buildings shake, and the ground begins to quake. Women faint and grown men cry when my monster stomps on by. We go into the mice cream store. He gets a cone or three or four, which he always tries to share by giving me the tails and hair. I thank him for his kindliness and offer him a hug and kiss while I toss the stuff away. I don't eat mice, what can I say? When we get home, he likes to eat the things he stepped on with his feet like ants and bugs between his toes, squirrels, rats, and baby crows. But his dinner is the worst. He eats so much I fear he'll burst. His bloated belly gets so big, he looks just like a monster pig. And the sounds he makes are nasty, hideous, obscene, and ghastly, grunting, slurping, drooling, too. It's grosser than a zombie zoo. Cockroach salad starts it off with dressing from a lizard's cough. For seasoning, he uses oil from a toad's infected boil. Spider eyebrows tossed with cream truly make my monster beam. He'll toss them down with coke and gum, eye of newt and ketchup, yum. When he's good and eats it all, a monster belch blows out its call, and then I'm blasted from the room just from the mere force of the fume. But when at last our day's complete, my monster's smile is warm and sweet. He understands how much I care. He's just a monster teddy bear.